Hi guys, this is Annabelle Pugh joined by Ian Miles and today we're going to talk about how to touch a girl without being creepy. Being around the women you like can make you do some pretty crazy stuff that later on you can ask yourself, was that really necessary? Girls are different and just because they agree to go out on a date with you does not mean they're comfortable with you touching them. We might be building something, but touching me out of context is creepy. And when I say out of context, I mean when I'm not ready or feeling comfortable with it. And doing that might destroy the chance you had with me. First, break the touch barrier. There are many techniques that guys use to break the touch barrier, but I'll tell you what most women are comfortable with. We categorize our bodies in three zones. Less intimate, intimate, and more intimate. The less intimate zones are parts that we are not very uncomfortable with when touched, such as the hands. Then the waist, a bit more intimate, and lastly, you know the areas that you just cannot touch. When breaking the touch barrier, start with the less intimate zones building up. When you make contact, try and read my body language to see if I'm comfortable with it. Eye contact. Now you see, confidence is everything when you're dealing with girls. You see, when you second guess your action, you appear like a creep. So using eye contact is a show of confidence and dominance. Women love to be pampered, even if it means that you'll be submissive for a while. Now when you put your arms around their shoulders while looking at them in the eye, it takes their focus away from your arm and puts it on their eyes. You see, confident eye contact doesn't only reduce resistance, but it also makes you own the situation. However, being overconfident makes you look too cocky. So you want to own the situation, but you also don't want to appear like a dictator. Reverse psychology. Now we hate guys who've mastered this skill because they always get what they want from us. We're more comfortable doing what we think we want. When you want to touch me without looking like a creep, then make me touch you first. When I am the first one to make contact, I've immediately opened a window of opportunity for you. Using reverse psychology needs you to have an A game in flirtation or find a way to make me feel safe and comfortable around you. Make me think how touching you will feel like. When you occupy my imagination, it's easy to touch me without appearing as a creep. Timing. Now you see, timing is crucial and most guys don't proceed past the first touch because they're closed in too soon or they did it in an appropriate circumstance. You see, when girls are with their friends, there's a degree of respect that they demand and being all touchy with a stranger can reduce the respect you show them. So you need to come in when a woman's guard is not set high in the air. Now there are accidental, protective, sexual and romantic touches. All of these touches have a particular setting that favours them and you may appear like a creep if you do one of them in the wrong setting. Build up touch. When you're planning to get anything out of your touches, then you better have a plan or be very smooth to flow with the moment. We are unpredictable and sometimes we pull stunts you did not expect. Building up your touch enables you to proceed with caution which prevents you from being creepy. Start slow and read how to touch a girl without being creepy. So start slow and read my reaction as you slowly proceed. So gents, that's all from us today and please check out our services at karmalifestyles.com and of course if you like our video then please share, comment and like and subscribe. I'm Ian and this is Annabelle and we'll see you next time.